guys, so we have the Bambox Horror unboxing and it is super late because literally the morning it came, I um, was just about to go get some minor eye surgery and I'm still recovering. So there's that, the BAM paper. I'm not gonna say it's for October because I don't know. It could be anything. Why don't I have a knife back here? There's scissors back here. Scissors. Scissor me tenders. All right, this is. I have no idea what this is. It looks like perfume. It looks like it's in a. It looks like it's in a cool little ca casket. I like caskets. You like cats. Sounds like metal. Oh, she fan. Scissors. <laughs> Yo, that's from uh, the, uh, oh my god, the Jordan Peele movie. Us. Are these functional scissors? What does it say? Uh, you know what? I'm going to use these. No, no, no. Me. It says something on the inside of inside the Inside it says, welcome to the, welcome to the family. You are now one of us. Nice. Do they work? Cut this. Cut the band paper. No, they're completely dull. And they're smooth on the inside. Aww. I could get those sharpened and use them to cut hair and just terrify people. So I'm assuming this is the movie prop. This is really cool. I think that the shears she had in the movie were a, a significant bigger. amount larger. But, like, that's still pretty cool. And the presentation is real nice. So, yeah, prop up. Cool. Jordan Peele is proving to be a modern-day Alfred Hitchcock, as his first two films have delivered on the thrills. Our fingernails didn't survive watching his second film, Us, and these scissors are one of the major reasons why. So, there we go. Real cool. That is real cool. You're real cool. You're real cool. All right, next one. <gasps> this is awesome. So this is the fan art print. We have never forgotten the first time we saw the dark side of Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. This month, artist Brian Meth, it's unfortunate last name, forever enshrines the real Bateman doing what he does best, kill ruthlessly with glee. Working on Wall Street, lost all of its appeal after seeing Christian Bale in this iconic performance. I was literally going to buy a Patrick Bateman print at the horror convention we were uh -huh. at on Halloween. And I feel like I like this one better. This background reminds me of the wallpaper we had in my bathroom in, like, my childhood home. That weird 90s geometric. Or maybe it's 80s. Here's a pen. We had it. Here's the pen. Uh, fan art pen. Even casual fans of The Simpsons. Look forward to the yearly Treehouse of Horror episode. That's like a zombie hom homer, by the oh, way. Oh, that's so cute. That's Ryan. Definitely watched a whole bunch of the Treehouse of Horrors the month of October. Because, like, you have to. Do you see what that is? To go oh with my God. last week's. That's awesome. To go with last week. I have another re uh, reanimator card. That's so cool. <laughs> I can't wait to put these like next to each other. All right, so are you ready? Mm-hmm. They sent us a seven-inch butcher knife, a real butcher knife. That's sharp. It's a real butcher knife. It is signed by A. Michael Lerner, the man who played Halloween and Halloween. Mike, Mike Michael Myers played Halloween. Played Michael Myers in Halloween <laughs> Six. Played Halloween and Halloween. Let me see. He was in Total Recall, Shawshank Redemption. But yeah, it's a real, like, it came in a butcher knife, like, sleeve. That's awesome. So it is a, literally, it is a seven inch butcher knife. Yeah, like, it's. So now we have a signed machete and a signed butcher knife. How do you display that? Huh? How do you display that? I was gonna stab it into the top of the bookcase. No. Into my DVDs? No. And we got our We Never Win Anything card here. Sweet. But, yeah. Oh, my God. Does it say it's for Halloween? Or October, October I guess? October box. It's box number 10. October box. 
So, yes, this is the October box. So, a total of nine actors have donned the Michael Myers mask, and every true horror collector will want to nab them all. Knowing this, we are excited to bring you a knife signed by A. Michael Lerner. Lerner terrorized the screen as Michael Myers in Hall Halloween 6, the curse of Michael Myers. Lerner has a long career as an actor and stuntman. He also worked in 90s hits such as Total Recall, The Shawshank Redemption, and the Twin Peaks TV show. Oh, I love Twin Peaks. Yeah, I think he was a stuntman in Twin, in Twin Peaks. Um, so we could have, with the fan art pens, there's a devilish Ned Flanders. Aww. Or the two angry Maggies. One, Stupid sexy Flanders. One was, a uh, one was an all white one. The Maggie. So there's like, a, those are the limited edition one. And the limited edition fan print was, um, the Bateman, only the background was black instead of white. I like the background we got with the... No, 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 no. The geometric, like the white part in here mm -hmm. was black oh. instead of white. It's like a different geometric pattern with I'd a black like background. That. Where's the reanimator card? I knocked it to the ground. All right. So the other reanimator card, the he didn't have a head. No, the, this one. He didn't have a head in that one. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the other one. You can display them together. So, yeah. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they go to, to get, there you go. They go together to make a scene. I love it. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, so, um. That's pretty awesome. I yeah. mean, isn't that pretty cool? Uh, what, you, what was your favorite part of it? Um, probably so the print. I really like the print. The print is amazing. I love fan art so much. I figured you would like the print just solely because you literally almost bought something very sim I almost similar. bought that. I love that movie so much. I love just Patrick Bateman's character is so creepy and cold and ruthless. One of my favorite one of my favorite um spoofs of a scene from that movie. Have you ever seen the business card scene? Only it's Pokemon cards. Yeah. Instead of the, oh, I freaking love that. Um, honestly, for for me, it's it's hard. But probably the scissors. The scissors are so cool, and they come in a freaking awesome display case. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's the scissors. But it, it it's a. The scissors and the knife. I feel like if the knife came in a better in a better display, other than like the if it was in like a shadow box or, or something. something, other than the original sleeve that it comes in from the store, like that's like a kitchen set knife. This is like a knife from the dollar store. Yeah, well, duh. Like, <laughs> it, and it's still in like the sleeve of that. Like, you can't just put it in something different. Like, no, for real. But that's fine. But yeah, no, that's, uh, those, those scissors are so cool. And it's got like the custom BAM horror box that it comes into. Like, I wish they would have put the knife in something like this, but yeah, these things are dope, <laughs> but yeah. So clack. all right, you tell them where to find us. On the all social right. Medias. So what did you think of the box we got? Did you get any variants in it? What did you think of the prints? Do you think it would look cooler with a black background? Because I think it looks pretty amazing how it is. Um, what would you rate our box out of five? Let us know. Uh, like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you also just had a corneal debridement and the first 12 hours are the worst. But now you can kind of see things. Google, did we win? Google cornea debridement. Corneal corneal debridement don't you, google it don't do it when you're trying to go to sleep though or eat no we got so oh, so close we got two of the game paddles and then something something else we almost won a playstation 4 that we could have immediately sold for money because playstation sucks i love playstation 2 i know but you only have that for one game and what game is that two games what Time Crisis and Dance Dance Revolution. Mm -hmm. I love Time Crisis. I think I sold the guns, though, so I can't really play it anymore. But, um, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you have a short-term memory problem. Did you use my nice pen for that? Mm -hmm. God damn it. 
<laughs> it's not your nice pen anymore now. Well, apparently. So, um, you can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Where they, where can they find you? You're making a lot of noise. You can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch where I'm an affiliate provider. Stream almost every day at Repeat Ray Animator. Stop on by. It's always a good time. We have lots of fun. Zach, my mod, makes stuff very fun. Thank you, Zachary. Oh. I'm going to go put some more eye drops in, and I hope everyone had an awesome October, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye! Lolow. What is the cat doing? Being a cat. Oh, he's so cute. Tiny baby. Did, not... Did you just clock his head off something? Oh, I clocked my fucking hand off of the bottom of the desk. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Hello, everybody. Oh. Hey, guys. I fucked up. <laughs> Did you hear it? I was like, <laughs> Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah.